Truss quits, but UK's political and economic turmoil persist. London, British Prime Minister Liz Truss quit Thursday after a tumultuous and historically brief term marred by economic policies that roiled financial markets and a rebellion in her political party that obliterated her authority. After just 45 days in office, Truss became the third Conservative Prime Minister to be toppled in as many years, and she will go down as the shortest serving leader in British history. Her resignation extends the instability that has shaken Britain since it broke off from the European Union and leaves its leadership in limbo as the country faces a cost of living crisis and looming recession. I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party, Truss, 47, said outside her 10 Downing Street office. Financial markets breathed a sigh of relief, but now a divided ruling party must quickly find a leader who can unify its warring factions. Truss said she will remain in office until a replacement is chosen, which the Conservative Party said it would do by the end of next week, an extremely fast timeline for choosing the next leader of one of the world's largest economies. Potential contenders include, former Treasury Chief Rishi Sunak, who lost to Truss in the last leadership contest, House of Commons leader Penny Mordaunt, Defense Secretary Ben Wallace, and Boris Johnson, the former Prime Minister ousted in July over a series of ethics scandals. The low-tax, low-regulation economic policies that got Truss elected by her party proved disastrous in the real world at a time of soaring inflation and weak growth. 23 economic plan included a raft of tax cuts that investors worried Britain couldn't afford. It pummeled the value of